Are taking it a step further by like backing the family and i'm not saying that in in reality you know innocent till proven guilty i get all that but didn't we do when i say we i mean you didn't you do the same shit with don and then when everybody turned on don you turned on don no because if you've gone through my stuff on, it's a two-part question and, and then you can answer it all at once and i'll be quiet but it seems like you you want to be the for lack of a better way to say it's the critical k of this case <laughs> and take the opposite side and not listen to law enforcement and be buddy buddy with them when we know that somebody in that house murdered this child or has well, I don't think it's fair that she's being buddy buddy with all of them. You know what I mean? I don't think that's so. fair to say. So, you know, here's the thing with Don Wells, in my opinion, was much different because I'm not sure what you all watch me, but I've been releasing like my whole conversation. Don knew how I felt all along. I never kissed Don's ass. I told him all along, you're fucking lying. Your wife is lying to you. You know, Don was there was maybe two weeks, but no. And I was doing what I was doing because Hannah, the head uh, TBI agent that was on the case while I was doing that, told me to continue doing what I was doing as long as I was comfortable. So I thought, okay, I'm doing something here, right? They want me to do this. So I continued it, but uh, yeah, it wasn't fun. However, Billy's watched my uh, Don Wells stuff. She's open to have my phone and look through the, the communications. It's just, I know what it looks like, but I promise you that like Billy and I will show our conversations together one day. That is a plan. There's not going to be anything hidden. Yes, you're going to see a lot more one day. Everyone will, but it's not anything I can share right now. Billy has been very honest. And I, I know there's a, I, I'm, I know that Leilani is going to get in trouble. I know that. I know that Leilani is going to get in trouble. I know that. But there's some things that I have got to see and witness that I've been asked not to show everybody right now. Okay, that, but you're not an investigator. So you're doing this for clicks and views as well. No, I've actually lost views. I've lost people and I've been dragged worse than the wells. I've had worse death threats I've ever had in my life. So I believe that Billy is being treated unfairly. And I don't think people are looking at like, I've always cared more about the full picture. I do. I believe that as well. Even I do Don believe Sanders, that. If Don called me when he got out, I'd still have a conversation with him because I honestly care because of my history, Laura. I'm not sure what you know, but I've been through some things. And so it makes me, after my anger subsides, really want to know a lot more about the making. Like, how can we help future issues if we don't try to understand the humans, really? I, I just, at first I was angry, and Billy knows that. I, I was pissed because I didn't really watch anything, but people came in my chat and said, pull it up, right? So I pulled it up one night live, and I, I was like, whoa. It was very much like, it gave me Wells vibes. It gave me Casey Anthony vibes, you know, a little bit of Brian Laundry vibes. But uh, as soon as Billy started talking to me, I was like, whoa, because she's showing me things. She has told me things that it's just so different than the Wells. Like the Wells, of course, they wanted me to share, do this, get this clear. You know, you, we saw the productions, right? This, this had not been asked at all by the family whatsoever. They like, it's just totally different. Queen, I know you talked to them. It's just different, isn't it? Like Billy will answer questions that she knows it's not going to make the situation look better. You know what I mean? Like she's not, I don't know how to explain it. Billy knows what's up, if that makes sense. She's never tried to. Oh yeah, she's her mother. For one, she's her yeah. mother. And yeah. for two, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I messaged Billy and had a conversation with her on TikTok prior to her closing this down when she made her video sitting in the rocking chair. I feel like Billy's in a hell of a place me right too. now. Yeah, and I, I also talked to Michael, you know, as well. I, mm -hmm. I talked to him, and um, but I only my I only had a brief conversation with with Billy. Like it was very very brief. You know what I'm saying? But she was pretty. Now, I did message her on anything? Facebook. I'm sure it's probably still sitting in her message request box. Um, you know what I'm saying about uh, Cash Gurnan's family. Um came up and gave me as well. So I did, I was trying to send those over there. Like I said, still sitting in her message request box, but I wanted mm -hmm. to try to get her information and um, to Michael as well so that they could try to at least go up. And I don't know if they can do a restraining order or get yeah. a restraining order because of the death threats, her telling her she's going to poke her up and leave her bleeding like ketchup. Mm -hmm. I don't know about all that, but I did try to send that over to her. Now, I do feel like she's in a hell of a position, but I also feel like to a point she's, no one can beat her up worse than she's beating herself up right now. A hundred percent. And and Laura, I see exactly what you're saying. I do. And it, you know, I, I understand it. At least you're asking respectfully, but there, I mean, you are going to see it one day, but it, it's just not going to be what people think it is. That's all. Yeah, but I don't, <clears throat> I, I don't, I don't know. I guess I just see it from a different perspective. I get what you're saying about wanting to get inside their heads and find out what's going on. Hey, I have she's no not, problem with that. She's finger pointing her own daughter, right? She's not trying to, like, how do I say that, Queen? I mean, she's been very public. Like, she, she's pointing, she's not not pointing at her daughter. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. She's been very transparent about the trust issues and the lies that her, her like the relationship that they have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish I could show some stuff and, uh, See, you but know, that's, that's what I'm saying. I might show you privately, Laura. I could show you something if you wouldn't show anyone. That would make you probably, that would probably make you understand my position a little bit more.
But well, yeah, and I was going to say what I'm saying is what's the point of, you know, and then having to say, well, I can't show you or I can't do this or I can't do that. I want to. I know. Uh, well, it, it it started with I thought I was going to be able to show you, but then it's got more where Billy's been really honest. Like I've witnessed conversations between her and the law. Like I know what's and it made me just I just I guess yeah, I just feel very secure because I don't think there's ever been anyone that I've ever talked to in any other case that's been more honest than Billy has. You think? I've ever talked to in any other case that's been more honest than Billy has. You think? You believe? I believe with what I've seen and what I've witnessed, what I've heard. Yeah, I, I mean, I know. Unless, I mean, is it possible that it's a huge game? They're lying to lie, whatever, putting on a show. I mean, anything's always possible, but I've, I've seen what I've seen that there's, like, there's no way it could be, like, can, can it I, can't be manipulated. Like, I've witnessed things live time that there, it can't be manipulated. Yeah, I mean, I'm not too familiar with the channel, but or do you just believe Billy Joe and everyone else is not responsible? Do you, do you have, like, do you think, like, Lalani is responsible for the disappearance and or death of this child? I, I do believe Lalani has a hand in it, yes. Okay. Drop a link. I don't share shit if people tell me not to share it. So sit okay. okay. Yeah, please knock it off in chat with, like, trying to be, like, Yeah, everybody's shit. saying don't share, her, don't share it with her, don't share it with her, don't share it with her, don't, you know what? And I, I don't I don't care if you share it with her or whoever or whatever. Uh, I think if you put trust into them. I think if they did put trust into you, then you should probably keep things to yourself. Yeah, I mean, like you've probably been told in confidence you should here nor there what you share. I mean, that's on you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, what is your your position? I'm I'm not quite sure. You you think? Do you think the family has anything to do with it, or what? What's your position? No. I'm not sure. I personally, you were asking me, right? Yeah, I'm actually. I, don't know, I think me and Sharon think a lot alike on this one. I don't know. I yeah. personally believe the daughter, possibly the boyfriend, is responsible, but I also believe that Billy Joe knows what happened. I believe anyone in that household knows what happened. And that's what I believe. Okay. So I believe that as much as honest as they may be, they're also not being honest because you can tell from body language alone, Billy Joe knows what the fuck happened. Her daughter told her what happened. And you could see that when she was biting her tongue in that interview. See, I saw that as something totally different. Like I, I don't saw think it, she knows. I, 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 you know what? I saw that as Billy Joe, like, like when she turned her head and she let out that sigh, like, mm -hmm. stop lying, you little bitch. Like, I'll I, be honest, I, that's how I took that. It's very hard for her to be in the position she's in right now is that fair to say because yeah, it's yeah. her daughter and yeah. i totally i've said that i've said that on my panel that you know people well yeah what a hell of a position to be in i mean really even though i know in my heart that she knows full detail of what happened that's her daughter and she has every right to protect her daughter i would and i've made that clear my son kills somebody i'm keeping my fucking mouth shut because that's my kid and i'm going to protect my kid at all costs but that but that gets even more like that's even more of a slippery slope when it's your if your kid potentially killed your grandkid yeah. That's the difference. I, I would do the same thing, Laura. I would defend my kid if they went out and committed some crime so, like that. But that's my grandkid. Kid, it would be such a share. Sure, I put my email you know? in the private chat. Yeah. Will you email me real fast? So, yeah. so the other way I can use something more information and share it. I believe that no one in the family knows more information. Oh, she left. Okay. I was about to say, like, wait, uh, share left? Yeah, she just dropped out. Oh, I think she might have. I was gonna say she might have yeeted herself off. Oh, there's somebody else back here, too. Who did myself? Okay, you can turn it off, baby. That's fine. I didn't see you were back here. Are you up here now? Yeah. Yeah, you're up here with us, honey. I didn't see you back there at first. No worries. No worries. Again, I yeah. often agree with, uh, like Miss Behaven said, she has to take some responsibility for leaving those children with her daughter. I said in the beginning, and I stand by this, that no, because you never think your kid is going to do something like that. You okay. just don't. Billy will actually agree with that, though. Yeah, but she, that's she feels responsible. Well, well yeah, yeah, she's going to feel responsible that she's going to beat herself up about it. She, you know what I mean? Of course, I think she's she probably feels that way. She's probably yeah. blaming herself to the max right now. Like, what the fuck was I thinking? I should have known better. I should have, you know, I mean, like I said, no one can beat her up the way she's beating her own self up right now. And I don't give a shit. What bull fucking horn Betty fucking thinks. She is not doing any more damage to Billy than Billy's already doing to herself. Yeah, right. Beating, you know, beating herself up. Mm -hmm. Well, Betty's just as dysfunctional anyway. For her to be throwing stones at a glass. You know what I mean? It's like, I like, promise you one day you guys are going to see it, that she's not, how do I say this? She's not protecting Leilani like everyone thinks. Like, I, I promise you, you it's going to come out one day. And I can't, I, that's all I can say. I, I mean, I, 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 I never I, guided people. I never went to people privately to defend Don and Candace. But in this case, I've gone after people privately and asked them, can you remove this? Can you, like, I'm I feel very comfortable in what I'm doing right well, now. If, Why like, hasn't if, there been an arrest yet? I think it's be um hmm. even if you just give your opinion. Have well, enough proof or they would. They, if they yeah, have enough proof, they would have arrest right now. Yes. So, so it's my opinion, Laura, that there's not an arrest yet because there's lies going on from two different parties. Okay. And so um yeah, it's kind of hard right now. I think the I I don't think the law is being shitty like Hawkins County. I I I think they're doing a really great job following all these. They had FBI within three hours on this case, you know, just in case it was an abduction or something. Like they they acted very quickly. I think that they're doing a great job. But right now, there's there's no arrest because there there's just still so much they don't have because there's been a lot of lies. I think too. Um, sorry, I don't mean to. I don't want to butt in, but um, <clears throat> I think too because if they don't have, a, I mean, any case if there's no actual 
body or you know anything or they don't have they have to make a circumstantial case a circumstantial case you have to make sure everything is airtight you know what i mean everything is airtight because if you leave any wiggle room for a technicality you can only try whoever you want to bring forth you know the charges you can only try them once for something like that you mm-hmm. can't you can't bring them back you know what i mean you can't bring it back and, and try them again so you know if they're doing a circumstantial case with no you know because they don't have enough so they have to gather all this stuff and it takes a long time it takes a while to i don't know if that's what they're doing but i'm just saying that could be mm-hmm. well like what if so if we know that danny drives or drove uh leilani's car all the time we know he drove her car that day to work right so how do we know so yeah we could it could be leilani's car on that camera right but is it really leilani yeah and they question in courts with uh with um the quality of of video footage like if the like a defender of you know whoever whoever the, the defender would be um, they, you know, their attorney would be what they would, um, they always challenge the footage. There's some, I, I don't know the right verbiage for it, but like, it's not, you know, it's not, um, quality footage to prove that it's, it's actually these people or those people, like, um, on surveillance and things. Like, do you, you understand? Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, what is the, uh, what's your name? The person, someone's asking, like, who's the left icon? The name. Oh, my name's Infamous Truth Teller. Infamous Truth Teller. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I don't know. Personally, well, I don't know. I mean, personally, why? Another thing you said, you said you went, uh, this is questions directed to the show. You said you secretly, like, behind said people take down videos about, about what? Uh, not videos, but certain things like um, Billy would prefer creators not show Quentin's siblings and stuff oh, okay, like that, agreed. right? Yeah, and yeah, I find a couple of creators no privately. Yeah, there's no reason. And she she really is, like, um, I think this is safe to say. She shows me a lot, like, do you know this creator? Could they please, like, any picture, if they want to use me or Quentin, of course, but could we, I want to protect the siblings as much as possible. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that that's really totally cool. The siblings at all. They really shouldn't be. No. Yeah. I agree with you. I was just like, I was a little confused when you said that. I was like, are you, what, what, what you were asking? No, yeah, no. And I've gone to a few creators too. And I think they're being really, really harsh on, on Billy. Um, and Billy doesn't ask me. That's another thing that's a lot different between the Wells. The Wells was trying, what can this creator do for me? How can this creator help me attack this creator? How can we discredit everyone? How can we make ourselves look better? And I'm not getting any of that at all. I was just going to say that because I remember the Wells, like basically like exposing that in themselves with you, mm-hmm. like, like really trying to use you like as a shield and a guard dog in that, in that way. I remember that. They, they did to all of us. Anyone. Yeah. Yep. And I felt like they, they pitted the like creators against each other and shit. Yeah, yeah. but they're mani- manipulation, you know, if there's somebody has some type of guilt, you know, like, you know, and they, they feel guilty or their conscience is eating at them. I mean, they're going to try to manipulate the narrative too. I mean, it, I, we don't know who's guilty and who's what because, you know, nobody's you know charged mm-hmm. with anything. But, you know, I think, um, you know, she, I think it's generational. I think there's, there's just, there's some stuff that's gone on in their lives. Like everybody else has had their, has their war stories, you know, and stuff and whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm not defending anybody, you know, but, you know, I think there's some generational stuff because they act very identical, um, Leilani and mom, you know what I mean? They kind of have the same kind of, uh, kind of attitude, you know what I mean? Kind of anger and stuff too but i, I just think there's some generational you know just stuff there's in their lives and and her growing up because from what i understand didn't um Le, um leilani's mom she lost custody of her kids too at one yeah. point yeah for nine years to her sister and she fought like how did yeah. that she, she got him back so she did yeah. it's just like a cycle. you know how the cycle you know if you if you don't make yourself aware and try to change that it, the cycle just continues you know yeah well yeah and it seemed to me like she really tried hard to break that cycle she was working she was going you know what i mean trying to yeah. show her a, a good way of life you know what i'm saying I think her guilt is eating her because she, because she did have custody of those kids through DCS, and I think I don't like to even give this fucking cloud over here. I don't no, no, even no, want to talk right. about it, no, tell no, people about it or anything. They want to go look, they can go look at their own shit, their own fucking shit. Yeah, but let me say something. It says this is where Lalani dumped Quentin. Must watch. Yeah, he's a, oh, that's why this guy is a fucking though. tragedy pimp. He's gonna go fucking put it, go to the goddamn Stop dumpster it. where he feels she dumped. He he's gonna go to the dumpster where he thinks she dumped the baby and take video of it for you guys. I right. literally feel like throwing up right now. What yeah, a fucking he's fucking sick, and it's disgusting that these motherfuckers are doing this shit. I'm gonna hop down. Laura, thanks for being respectful. I appreciate that. Thank you for coming up, Cher. Yeah. We appreciate yeah, it. Where's your email? Is your email on your page? Yeah, I hear voices. Yeah, one nine at Yahoo. Wait a minute, you hear voices? I yeah. always hear voices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I'm just yeah, playing. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's my problem. I'm just saying, I beat it all in good fun. Hold on, Cher, before I, you leave. I put I it in chat. I got one it, left. It should be in private chat. Okay, Laura. Ghost or no ghost? No ghost. Really? No, no, no. It's, light, it's lighting. Stop she has like strobe lights going. I, my husband looked into it because I'm into ghosts. Right? I, yeah, I, I, I honestly Laura, think it's lighting in a lens. Laura, you were saying, you also, were... quick question. Quick question. Everybody's yeah. saying that um, that is Billy's cash app. Uh, that no, is that not Billy's mine. cash app. Right? That is your say. cash app, correct? Right. Billy texted me last night and said, what is your PayPal and cash app links? I texted her them because I didn't know why she was asking me that. And then I quickly texted her and said, don't you dare send me any money because she's been wanting me to get there. And she, she says that if all of them can be asking for help and donations to get there to be there, then why can't she help me? And I said, no, don't help me. I'm going to make it there anyway. It doesn't matter. And oh, I'm that's nothing. Like, Prayer yeah. garden, uh, we'll say, well, a fucking bullshit garden running her mouth garden said last night yeah, that, you were in Canada, that you're not allowed to be here because you have warrants and they're going to pick yeah. you up wherever you're at. And I fucking laugh so oh, hard. That's fucking hilarious. I've crossed the borders fucking three times in the last year and a half. Like I laughed so fucking hard. That's so funny. That's because Donna. Night. That's because Chris McDonough told everyone that Canada's going to be lit up with warrants. I'm still waiting for a cop to even knock like on the door. Just like Don's going to go to jail for bullshit in Utah mm-hmm. that he's not going to go to jail mm-hmm. for. 
Hey, Cher, could you check the private chat real quick? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something that they wanted, she wanted to clear up. The, there's people talking crazy. Um, If you want to call it a threat, I showed the text that I sent to Danny. It's not a threat. If it's a threat, he can freaking call on me. I said, how could you run out and leave your girl and throw her under the bus like that? And I said, you're, the heat is coming. I said, the heat that you see at Billy's house is coming to your house, your mama's house, your mama's work. I was like, do the right thing, Danny. Tell the truth. Cause so at this point right now, they're thinking, they're, they're saying, the family's saying... Saying that Danny should be looked more into. Oh, than... I agree. That's I think they all should. He was in the house just as much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was the last person to see him that that, 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 that spoke on it. Like I, right. I mean? Supposedly he was the last one to see him at six a.m. in his crib, right? Right. And texted the babysitter at five twenty nine. I think that yep. he canceled the babysitter. Honestly, I think that he did that because he knew there wasn't three children. Wow. I think, I think too, I know DCS is, is slammed with cases and I know they're overworked and stuff, but you know, I think, I think all around a full circle, there should be some type of accountability for everybody because there's a lot of people drop the ball on that baby. You know, mm -hmm. a, 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 many people drop the ball on the baby. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But I do our hot down. No, Billy Joe has never asked for a cent. I don't even think she has a cash app or a PayPal. I've heard the rumors. I have a GoFundMe for the family. It's not true. If they find that, tell them to post it because it's absolutely not true. This family has not asked for a cent. Unlike Don and Candace, they, all she did was share my links because the point of it is, family would like me there so if they want me to get help getting there and why do they get the right to share their links to get there not me you know what i'm saying so that was the principle last night but it was my link shared not billy's and i think i'm uh, going to say i'm going to say this perplex was just shit stirring because i think she was like she was gonna think you're gonna say yes to ghost and she would no, shut me, up. Uh, she's gonna have me explode <laughs> on you immediately but honestly share like last night i was watching your stream and i saw the the paypal link and right away i saw your name in it so i don't yeah. i think people are just kind of seeing what they want to see at this point with that yeah yeah well, Betty made a post and said how gross, um, how gross and nasty Billy was because she was begging for money or some bullshit. Yeah, that's yeah, that's not fucking Billy's cash app. That's no, she I doesn't do it. On my post the screen shots. She Billy literally says, "Please help share," and it says, "Shares PayPal, shares cash app." So, all right, baby. Well, okay. thank you for coming up and clearing all that up. I appreciate it. And um, uh, email me because I want to talk to you. So, okay, I will. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you for coming Bye, up. Sure. Have a good day. Thanks for coming up. Um, Greg, you said he's still waiting on an apology from Perplex when she berated me for saying Debbie Collier's death was a suicide. Cotton blowhard is just jealous. She is or something, something.